coming up soon, I have, well, within the next couple weeks, we're going to be embarking on our Tesla electric travel adventure with a teardrop travel trailer. Well, uh, lately I've been getting some product re uh, products to test out for companies, and GearBest thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to have me uh, test out one of their travel refrigerators and put it along with us in our teardrop travel trailer for our electric adventure. So let's open up the package, plug her in, and see how it does. For our test, I have a deep cycle battery ready, uh, so that way I don't have to leave it plugged into my car uh, during my testing. I also have a thermal camera, and we will be checking out some thermal imagery to see how cold a solid state air, uh, refrigerator, almost that air conditioner, actually gets. So let's get her out of the package here. There we go. 7.5 liter cooling and warming travel refrigerator. Once again from GearBest. Uh, you can find the information on how to purchase uh, in the description box below. Well packaged. And this shipped straight from China Warehouse. And I got it in about ooh, five days. Calm before the storm. Breeze is starting to pick up. So, uh, it's a very solid little unit. You have cold, hot, and it runs off of 12 volt DC. So your auxiliary outlet. Instructions? Who needs instructions? And a carry strap. I am going to skip this carry strap, so it looks nice and durable, because I will be putting this inside the trailer. And there you go. And now uh, this does have a fuse in the end, so you don't have to worry about blowing any fuses on your car. So it is protected. the uh, 12 volt deep cycle battery with a 12 volt socket on it. And we're gonna let this go and just see how well it does. Now, once again, these can cool or warm. Uh, we're gonna test the cooling perf uh, performance of it. Um, I don't foresee myself ever using the warming but um, let's see, thermal camera. Got a little flare one. Get that fired up. And let's turn it around. All right, now for the purposes of testing, I have a bunch of different beverages to try out. Now the cans, uh, let's see, the only thing that's already cold is the Aquafina water, so I'll put that in the back. I'm gonna put a Monster Energy drink. Uh, let's see, will the beer fit? The beer does fit, check that out. It fits a full-size bottle of beer. Let's see. Uh, juice for the kids. And a couple cans of soda. So, the, like I said, the only thing that's already cold is the water. Uh, you know what, for testing? Yeah, we'll just do the water. Now, ideally, these are meant, these thermoelectric coolers are meant 
to keep cold beverages cold or cold food already cold but if you're going to be on a long trip sometimes you might not have something that's cold or you might eat something warm and you want to save it for later you want to cool it down so let's close that up and uh, we're going to leave it go for I don't know well, let's go for an hour and see how cold everything gets in there after an hour got plenty of power so we'll be right back in an hour Okay, uh, fridge has been sitting for about an hour and a half. Uh, just to give you an example, uh, according to Apple, my or the outside temperature is currently 85 degrees, and the humidity is horrible. Now, um, I suppose the general outside of the unit itself too is in the 80s. Um, you can see the uh, heat exhaust which means uh, where the heat is being pumped out of the unit and it's just sitting right here so we got 111 get inside there so the things output about 111 degrees and that's how much it's warmed up the uh, plastic storage container that it's sitting on top of and excuse the jerkiness, that's just uh, every so often you have to recalibrate. So let's see what are the beverages at. Ooh, black means cold. Cold is good. Now, some things such as silver aluminum reflect ambient temperature. So I'm going to watch them as I wave my hand over it, you can see my the reflection, infrared reflection of my hand. So the idea is I'm going to have to find something that is non-reflective in here. Okay, so let's start down in the dark. I'm going to close a little bit, try and keep as much ambient light from getting reflected. So the bottom of the cooler is currently at 40 about 46 degrees roughly and it's going up because I got the lid open 45 there we go 43 let's move it over as we get a little further away we're at 52 over here the yellow cap of the juice is at 68 uh, the black now this is all the way towards the back. The black Monster Energy Drink can is at 58.6. And lots of recalibration. And the water bottle is at 56.7. Uh, there is condensation forming on the bottles. Uh, the beer is at... Got to get a good spot here. About 50. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-seven. Not too bad. Let's take out a soda can now. The soda can definitely feels cold, colder than ambient. It is a bit reflective. Got to find a good spot where it's mostly black. Here's a good. Uh, there, there's a good spot. 60. I should have put some black magic marker on the cans. My fault. And the spot where the uh, thermoelectric heat pump is contacting the casing, uh, the inside of the box is aluminum casing. Uh, we're at below 40 degrees. Wow. So this thing definitely gets cold. Let's switch back over to the regular camera. So what would I rate this? I would rate this as uh, pretty darn good. Uh, in about an hour and a half it managed to drop the temperature of pretty much everything in there. Like I said, the only thing that went in there already cool was the bottle of water and there's no way that held enough 
coldness to cool the entire box. And it is definitely putting out a noticeable amount of heat on the bottom. And it's bit very quiet, it's silent. Uh, lightweight, even with everything in there. Seems pretty well insulated. Like I said, carry straps. Uh, very low power. Um, I used a clamp-on multimeter at the amperage and the draw. Uh, looking at about 25 to 30 watts. It varied a little bit. Uh, when it was very, everything in here is very warm, it drew a little bit more and it seems to be drawing a little bit less power now. So it's energy efficient enough, especially for electric travel, like I, I do. Uh, you can see the condensation on the beer bottle. So it's definitely cold enough now. Let's see. Definitely cold enough now to at least condensate. The high humidity. Uh, plastic juice bottle. A little bit, not as much. Obviously, plastic is a much better insulator, so that didn't get quite as cold as quickly. And of course, the uh, water bottle as well. But not bad for an hour and a half. And uh, oof, it's noticeably cold when you touch the uh, unit in there. So I think this will be a great addition to our travels. So let's add it to the inside of the trailer. And here is the galley of our little trailer. So I will add, at least for now, since I'm still getting things arranged for travels, and guess what? Built-in 12-volt plug right here. And we have the power. What I think I will do is there's a little space right down here. Uh, I got some pots and pans on this side, and that side over there is empty. And since the power is run over here, I think I'll take it and I'll put it right, right in this little slot down here. And there's plenty of space for it to exhaust its heat. And uh, this should be great. I can't wait to use it on our trip. If you are interested in purchasing one of these, the link to GearBest is in the description box below. And um, enjoy nice cold beverages. Also, don't forget, it'll keep your sandwiches and drinks cold. And if you want, pre-chill your beverages and food, uh, such as in a regular refrigerator, before you head out on your trip. And it will stay even colder, even quicker, for even longer. Smile, cheese.